In our next story, adding as many electric vehicles as possible in a short amount of time creates problems for the energy grid. Will it, will it be able to keep up with demand? NTD Char Marshall has more. Replacing traditional gas cars with EVs too quickly could create significant challenges for an electrical grid infrastructure that isn't yet advanced enough to handle a full EV society. One obvious sign of the issue was California's recent alert asking residents to avoid charging their electric vehicles during peak hours. Lack of compliance with the measure meant widespread blackouts due to the additional strain on the electrical grid. We asked Lauren Fix of Car Coach Reports for her analysis. Now, the grid is not one gigantic grid across the entire country. There are segments of grids, and certain areas are hurting more than others. California is one of them because they've shut down nuclear power, they're reduced... Uh, their natural gas, and they don't want coal plants. They want everything to be on wind and solar, but that can only supply up to 18%. We're at about 11 right now, and they're still not at their maximum capacity, but still that's not enough. Even using nuclear energy as a crutch, the cost of the necessary upgrades to the grid could be as high as $4 trillion, according to a Woodmac estimate. Without nuclear power, the price tag bumps up another half trillion. EVs also come with hidden extra costs for homeowners. Some may not realize that not having specific up-to-date wiring in their home could come with the risk of fire. You're responsible for putting a charging station in your home. If you have an older home, it's going to cost more. You're going to need a special line drawn for that. A certified electrician must install this. If not, you could find yourself with your home on fire. And this has happened in a lot of areas in older homes because they're not wired properly. So make sure that you have all that available to you before you make a decision. What is the missing piece or pieces to the equation? John Murphy from the Clean Energy Jobs Coalition in New York told the Epic Times, there needs to be a plan, not a ban, on supplemental energies until it's possible to phase them out. Energy expert Jill Tejan told the Epic Times energy storage is absolutely necessary to help the electric grid make the transition to more renewable energy. Murphy concurred that a lack of energy storage is a huge problem. Sean Marshall... NT